And in another report, the federal government has revoked 924 dormant mining licenses covering exploration, mining, uh, small-scale mining, as well as querying. Ministry of uh, Solid Minerals Development's Dili Alaki says the move is to cleanse the sector of licensed racketeering. Senior correspondent Joke Adisa reports. In November last year, the federal government, through the Minister of Solid Minerals Development, Dele Alaki, announced the revocation of 1,663 mining licenses. It cited failure to pay statutory charges, fees, and dues to the federal government as part of its reasons. The minister said license racketeering was one of the challenges hindering sector's development. Five months after, the government is back on the same turf. The minister says the government is determined to redress the nation's losses to foreign direct investment through the activities of saboteurs. And having fulfilled all constitutional provisions, the minister announced the revocation of 924 licenses. In line with the standard policy of use it or lose it, I hereby revoke the 924 dormant licenses with immediate effect. This includes 528 exploration licenses, 20 mining licenses, 101 query licenses, and 273 small-scale licenses. He says license racketeering must be dealt with to sanitize the sector. The amount at which these licenses are sold are so huge compared to their costs from government such that the funds which they could have used to initiate serious exploration or mining are spent on speculators. The affected licensees wanting to return to their businesses have a 30-day timeline to pay fines ranging between 5 million and 10 million naira. Whoever wants to go back to that site or to have his revoked license reinstated must make restitution to the federal government of Nigeria by paying a fine of 10 million naira to the government. For the small scale licenses, it will be 7.5 million. Government is confident that with the latest step, investors across the globe can now apply for any of the affected cadastral units on the basis of first come, first served as it continues to enhance transparency and efficiency in the sector. Jokeyadza, TVC News, Abuja.